right today we are going to talk about the basic structure of eyeball we'll start with a very very basic concept as if you don't know anything about eyeball except that you know eyeballs are in the sockets of the orbits right let's remove one eyeball from the orbit and put it here and study every part of the eyeball one by one right first we'll talk about the general concept and then every part of the eyeball will be discussed into detail if i put an eyeball here first of all we'll discuss its outer layer basic uh, one of the ways one of the best way to study the eyeball is that we must know what are the walls of eyeball right what are the walls of eyeball and what are the structures inside it that's so simple what are the walls of the eyeball and what are structures inside so first we'll start studying the walls of the eyeball. eyeball right when we talk about the wall of the eyeball it has three layers it has three component the outermost layer the outermost layer of the eyeball is the protective layer that is the this is outermost layer is the protective layer and this protective layer consists of two important component number one is the sclera the white of the eyeball sclera and other two is this interior most part of the outer layer this is cornea which is basically transparent yes right again we are studying the structure of eyeball first we'll talk about the walls of the eyeball yes. and then content of the eyeball first of all there i told you that three layers of the eyeball the outermost layer here i have drawn only the outermost layer of the eyeball which is the protective layer it protects the very delicate structure inside right this this from here right from here up to here you start from here all this layer this is called sclera. sclera it's a very tough membrane sclera and here is the transparent part and this transparent part is called cornea, cornea. so this is the outermost layer inside it there is a highly vascular layer highly vascular layer right which brings the nutrition here and this highly vascular layer which is inside the outermost protective layer and this layer is called also uveal tract right yes now this vascular layer has one posterior part right and this posterior part which i have drawn here this is called choroid what is it called choroid choroid and then there is one part as you move from choroid forward a part of the middle layer it becomes thickened and this thickened part is called ciliary, ciliary body. body it is called ciliary, ciliary body. body and in the middle of ciliary body there is another vascular diaphragm and this is called iris, iris. this is called iris again first i did uh, i made the drawing of the outermost part and outermost part was what is this outermost part this was basically let me tell you outer coat of the eyeball outer coat of eyeball right and this outer coat of the eyeball it it had two component the posterior this part posterior 5 sixth of the eyeball this structure this is tough membrane and opaque membrane and this is sclera this is sclera right then this interior part interior 1/5 of the eyeball right into your most area which is part of a smaller circle right uh, this is basically transparent and we call this part of the outermost layer cornea right this is outermost layer then i came to the middle layer there is middle layer and this middle layer or middle coat of the eyeball or middle layer of the eyeball we can call it middle coat also right middle coat this is basically also called vascular coat nutritive coat yes. right this was outermost coat and protective coat yes. this was protective cover and this is the nutritive or vascular or vascular, vascular coat right so this is middle layer is equal to vascular coat and its posterior most area this area right this posterior area 
this is called choroid this area is called choroid and anterior to the choroid there is a triangular relatively large area vascular layer and this uh, enlarged area right as you move the choroid forward right anteriorly this vascular layer become thickened and this thickened triangular area this is called ciliary body we will discuss every part in detail first we just make the basic structure ciliary body and from the ciliary body the anterior most area there is a vascular right layer extend as a diaphragm with a central hole the central hole is pupil and this diaphragm is called iris it is called iris so we can say that middle layer consists of choroid yes choroid and ciliary body ciliary body is actually here you see only two part but actually it's a thickened circle is that right and here is the what is this iris, iris right with the central hole here if you make the iris will be somewhat like uh, this right this is the iris okay then okay i will make keep it simple because later on i'll draw the detailed diagrams so this is your iris right then the inner layer the inner most layer the real layer for which this protection is provided the real layer for which this vascular heavy vascular nutrition is provided that is the sensory layer of the eyeball that is the retina which is really going to do the real function of the eye and re retina is inside right now retina is the structure here innermost layer and the here i draw the retina and retina yes now retina as you know that retina has the most important uh, sensory component here called rod and cones which are sensitive to the light right now from the retina these are the nerve fibers going now this retina which i have made it here right this is the sensory layer this sensory layer right again if i want to be more clear retina is basically two layers an outer layer this black layer and this is the pigmented layer okay this one is pigmented if i enlarge it if i enlarge structures here what is this structure this is sclera inside it what is this structure this is choroid or vascular layer i'm i'm making a structure from here i have enlarged it this is sclera inside it there is vascular layer inside here this is your retinal layer right but what i really want to tell you is that retinal layer consists of two part one part is this one the outer part which is basically heavily pigmented cells very we can we also call it pigmented layer of retina and this layer pigment pigmented layer of retina is in very intimate and strong relationship with the vascular layer is that right yes and this layer this layer which is from here up to here this is called neural layer what is it neural layer. neural layer and outer was pigment layer and both layers are part of retina is that right so we can say again i will make pigment layer black so you don't confuse retina has one pigment layer yes. right heavily pigmented why because when light goes in it should get absorbed and not get reflected from different angles so that image should not be distorted right so retina has outer layer this layer i will draw it here this layer and this layer is the outer layer of retina and this is pigment layer right an inner layer of retina this blue one right this is basically which layer this inner layer is 
that part of the retina which is also called neural part of retina is the right rather these are two parts of the retina clear two layers of the retina now actually this outer part of retina the pigment layer right does not have rods and cones does not have rods and cones actually this is the neural layer here this one it has the rods and cones these rods and cones as i will discuss later in into detail these are the structures which convert the electromagnetic waves energy you know light is electromagnetic energy these rod and cones are very special type of transducers what is what are transducers transducers are those structures which convert one type of energy into another type of energy you know light light is a form of energy electromagnetic waves when electromagnetic waves fall on the rod and cone which i will discuss into detail later when electromagnetic waves or the light fall on the rod and cones rod and cones are activated and they produce action potentials they convert the electromagnetic energy into electrochemical energy of action potential right and those action potential through multiple cells will go to the central nervous system your understanding so actually these rod and cones are actually a uh, part of the neural layer right and these rod and cones are also called light receptors they are also called light receptors which are stuck into what is this layer pigmented layer so that when light comes it passes through all layers of retina activate the rod and cones and then get absorbed into dark layer even though choroid also has a little bit pigmentation that we will discuss later is that right now this innermost layer rod and cones are first of all its pigment layer continues all over the choroid and this pigment layer continues behind the sclera and this also continues behind the iris pigment layer of the retina right this is pigment layer of the retina continuing covering all the choroid then extending forward on what is the structure ciliary body and then extending further forward behind the iris is that right now a point which is very important even though pigmented layer start from this this area is optic disc from here it starts and it continues continues it's all over the choroid it's all over the behind the or inner side of the ciliary body and inner side of the iris but rod and cones do not extend up to this area they do not extend rod and cones let me draw a structure here okay this is a coronal area is that right and this is corneo scleral junction cornea with sclera this is corneo scleral junction. junction this point and this point and this is the coronal section actually rod and cone extend from backward forward somewhere in the middle of between these two points these are rod and cones they reach up to here but the pigment layer of this continues forward right behind the choroid and also so what does it mean that rod and cones if i make it here the coronal part and here i make it corneo scleral junction right rod and cones continue somewhere in here and here up to here and beyond that only pigmented layer continue and very thin part of the neural layer continues very thin part of neural part of retina continues but rod and cones are not continuing forward now the point where rod and cones terminate here right it means ahead to this forward of this retina is not sensitive to light yes. is not sensitive to light so is this part where the rod and cones are present only retina is sensitive here to the light stimuli am i clear any question up to this 
So I will briefly review the basic structure of eyeball up to now what we have discussed. We have mainly discussed the, you can say, core outer, we have discussed the coats of eyeballs or we have discussed the walls of the eyeball. Yet we have not talked about the content of the eyeball. What did we discuss? Outermost layer is the protective layer. Outermost layer is the protective layer and this protective layer behind it is sclera which is opaque and in front interior one third of the eyeball this is cornea which is which is transparent transparent right the middle layer middle layer is vascular layer and vascular layer behind it is choroid right and as it continues interiorly it becomes widened and it becomes more thick and triangular and this thickened part of the vascular layer is called ciliary body ciliary body and then from the ciliary body centrally more interiorly right a diaphragm is there with central aperture and this diaphragm is called iris so outer layer has sclera and cornea middle layer has choroid ciliary body and iris and innermost layer is having what yes innermost layer inner most layer or coat right or coat that is called what retina, retina. that is called retina, retina and this uh, retina basically has two part part of the retina which first of all retina has its itself two layers number one what is there one is pigment layer which is outward pigment pigmented cell layer pigmented part right and then there is neural part right or we can say photo light sensitive part that is a more appropriate concept we can say light light sensitive part which is containing rods and cones and what did I say that light sensitive part was present from back it extends over the choroid but somewhere middle of between the what is this point corneoscleral junction. junction and coronal equator coronal coronal section somewhere it rod and cones terminate but pigment layer with little neuronal tissue continues forward behind the ciliary body and the iris these are the basic three layers now purpose of outermost layer was to protect the retina per yes. and to let the eye uh, let the light enter in the eyeball from the interior most part of cornea middle layer purpose was to provide a huge supply of yes blood supply nutrition to the rods and cones yes they consume lot of energy because they convert the light energy into electrochemical energy of action potentials yes is that right so vascular layer is there and then of course this diaphragm is very important because it controls uh, pupil can become wider or smaller so it controls how much light is admitted in different circumstances inside the eyeball then the real sensory layer of the eyeball inside now after this now some other important structure here is your lens what is this? Lens. This is your? Lens. Lens. Lens is, you know, it's a transparent disc which uh, let the light pass and let uh, and help the light to focus properly on the retina. And lens has special ligaments which are attached with the ciliary body and it is held in position, right, with the ciliary. Okay, let me make the lens yeah lens at the periphery has special li ligaments or we call them these elastic fibers which hold the lens lens into position and adjust the lens focal power these are called suspensory ligament or zone use right we suspend the periphery of the lens attached with the what is this ciliary body right behind the lens posterior to the lens uh, what is there there is special type of fluid like jelly like material gel like material and this gel like material which fills the remaining part of the eyeball this gel like material 
which fills it here. This is called aqueous. No, is it, it is called vitreous humor. What is it called? Vitreous humor or vitreous body. Its name is vitreous body or vitreous humor. Is that right? So inside, when we talk about structures inside, here it is vitreous body and then there is lens yes. and then there is a fluid here, right, which is filling this area, right, and this is called aqueous humor. So when light, I will go into detailed structure of this area. So what really happens when light is entering, first it has to pass through cornea, then through the aqueous humor and pupil and aqueous humor, then through the lens then through the vitreous humor and then it falls on the retina and stimulate rod and cones and eventually light information is converted into action potentials which goes out of the eyeball through the optic nerve to the central nervous system am i clear now i will draw the eyeball structure rapidly and you will tell me which component i'm drawing so i check really you understand the basic structure if you really understand, I will go to a little more detail of structures. Yes, now I am drawing, what is this layer? Outermost, innermost? It is outermost and this part of the outermost layer is called sclera and this interior most part is called cornea, right? There is sclera and there is cornea. Okay, that's good. Then, inside it, I am drawing rapidly. What is this structure up to here and up to here? Choride. No. Yes, it is choride. It is choride. And here if I draw this part of the choride, uh, when choride interiorly is a ciliary body. Yes. Vascular layer become thick and what is this? Ciliary body. body. And now what is it? Iris. Very good. Iris. Right? This is iris. And what was it? Choride. Right, it was middle vascular layer, choride, celery body, and iris. I'm just repeating it to see you really remember or not. And what is the structure here? Oh, first the innermost sensory layer. Yes, it was the pigment layer of retina, which continues behind inside the choride and then behind the celery body and even on the back of iris. And what is this layer? You terminate here. What is this? light sensitive part of Inner retina. retina which is having rods and cones. cones right and here is your beloved lens. lens right and what are these ligaments which suspensory lens. ligaments lens. right and here is your yes vitreous humor right which fills this area this is a very basic structure of eyeball that's it very basic structure of eyeball.